Hey everyone, so today I'm going to walk you through setting up the Together API for the Knowledge Graph section in Wirepod for having your vector answer with a host of different Knowledge Graphs. So the first thing we're going to do is just go into the Wirepod tab down here in the bottom right corner. And what you should see down here when you pop up the little pop-up window is Wirepod right here. Click on the web interface. That will pop up a window that looks similar to this. And so you should be able to go into server settings and then click on the knowledge graph option. That will bring up your knowledge graph settings. Down here you have different drop-down options for different knowledge graph providers or API providers for the knowledge graph. I'm gonna show you how to do the together option. So first thing you'll do is click here on the together.com. That will open up a window that will be the Together website. You're gonna to wanna to come up here on the top right to the Get Started button and click that. That will open up a window to ask you to sign in. I'm just gonna sign in with my Google account. All right, signing in. All right, and it will bring you into an account where you can set up different modifications, different things inside the Knowledge Graph. You're gonna to have to set up your uh, account which is free to sign up and it gives you five free dollars in credits um, you're going to just use your username you know a couple other little things and then hit the complete button down here on the bottom when you're done with that all right so i put a little bit of information in there and then i'm just going to hit the complete button welcome so it's giving me this key right here you're definitely going to want to save that and so if you actually just click the copy button right here it will copy that API key to your clipboard. Then you can come back over to your Wirepod settings and that is one of the things that you're going to need is the together key. You're gonna paste that API key there. Whoops, I just exposed that. Well, I'll delete this API key after this video. And then you still need to get the model name and information that you'll be entering up here. So we'll go back to the together website and say get started. So as you can see, I have this chat option already set up. It's got the Meta Llama, Meta Llama 3.18B Instruct Turbo. So then if I come over here to the right side, you can see all these different options that you can choose from as far as knowledge graphs go. So go around, play with these. I'm using... Uh, I think I'm using the Llama 2 Chat 7B currently. Um, there's a whole bunch of different things. This will be a whole bunch of different ways that your vector can respond. So if you ask it the same question with a different knowledge graph, it will respond differently. I'm gonna just leave that alone for the moment. There's also modifications that you can do. Once you get into this, you can change all these different types of parameters and then you can actually test the bot right here. There's actually a chat box down here. So you can type in your queries and your questions and you'll get a response right here in the window. So this is where we want to grab the name of this because I actually had the wrong language model chosen up here. So what I did originally, it just had it set up as the Meta Llama Instruct Turbo these are different language models that are for instructions. So you have to pick a language model that's specifically for chat so that Vector can chat back with you. So I chose the DeepSeq LLM chat 67B, which is based off 67 points of, or sorry, 67 billion points of information. And then you just have to come over and grab the chat name again. This should open up this window here when you click the button. And then you just have to grab the copy button right here. That's the name of the chat model. And then you just throw that into the information for the knowledge graph. You should already have that uh, API key stored here. And then you just hit the save button. That will say changes saved successfully. Now you should have a chat language model in there and it should work now. Hey Vector, I have a question. What day is it? Today is the day you are currently experiencing. 
experiencing. If you want to know the specific date, I suggest you check your device's calendar or ask the virtual assistant to tell you the date. That's why I asked you. Well, anyway, as you can see, Vector is responding now. It's using the Together uh, API. And like I said, you have to go in, sign up for an account with Together. It's free. They give you $5 in credits. Some of the different language models do use more credits than others. So just be aware of that. They do show you in the uh, lists how much credits you're going to be using for each response. And throw in your API key. Throw in your chat language name and make sure that you're on the together option hit save and your settings should be saved in your wire pod for vector to be answering questions for you thank you for watching